Today is October 20th, 2015. I'm Emma. And I'm Julia. We're in Miss Coppinger's class. We go to Freeport Middle School. So far, we have read to Chapter 3. Brian, the main character's parents just got divorced. So he's going to visit his dad by taking a small plane to Canada. This is his first time on a plane, and everything is going well until... The pilot's shoulder pain soon turn into a heart attack. Now Brian is all alone and the plane is running low on gas. How will he survive is what I was wondering while I read this part. I was thinking that he should have just tried to land the plane. Hi! Today is November 3rd, 2015. We have read chapter 14. Is there anything that especially interested you in the book so far? The part where Brian ate the turtle's eggs eggs really stuck into my brain. I thought it was weird how the first egg he ate, he really didn't like, but the rest he loved. I know it's the part about the turtle eggs too. I know that Brian was starving, but I really wanted the eggs to be able to hatch. So we just finished the book and now we're going to talk about some hardships that Brian went through. One hardship that Brian went through was when a moose came out of the woods and attacked him, throwing him into the lake and breaking his ribs. Another hardship that Brian had was when a porcupine came into his house and attacked him. Another hardship that Brian suffered was the divorce between his mom and his dad. He took it especially hard because he witnessed his mom cheating on his dad in the beginning of the book. I really liked the ending of the book because I just thought it was very sudden but still very happy for Brian because he was getting rescued. I didn't like the ending of the book because I didn't get to find out if Brian actually went on the plane or if the pilot actually ate the food when Brian said, Would you like something to eat? Hi, today is November 9th. One thing I remember about what it takes to be a survivor is to never give up. Like when Brian worked all day to make a fire. Brian never just gave up. Instead, he accepted that he needed to work hard to survive. Finally, when he was in a good place, a pilot of a plane found him. Thanks for watching!